So yes, we just got our brand new set of flags hoisted in the rigging and just in time for, you guessed it, squall season. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yep, looks like squall season is fast approaching. It's getting to be springtime. Yeah, it's when we start getting those, you know, 40, 50 knot squalls closer to summertime. But right now is still springtime. We're getting into springtime. So this one's about 30 knots. Oh man, we got a big mess back here. Oh shit. Oh yeah, we got boats dragging everywhere. That's not good. Yeah, he just collided with that fishing boat. Looks like he's in full reserve. Oh shit, there's Renee's boat. He's let loose, so oh, he's on his way back to the wall. Yeah, his anchor was not held in very good. He's been lucky up to now, but Renee used to be way up here. Just in front of the fishing boats. But yeah, he's... Definitely broke loose. We need to call somebody to call. Yeah, Rene is dragging big time. He needs somebody to pull him. This guy's film, or this guy's swinging around in the breeze pretty good. I think his anchor's still holding. Okay. But he's really swinging in an erratic pattern side to side. I'm not sure why. Well, we have a bunch of boats dragging over here and there's a fishing boat over there trying to help some of them right now. One of the pangas. But yeah, we got a big mess behind us. No, Renee's boat's out of control. Hopefully this is gonna end soon and he doesn't get right to the wall. But yeah, it looks like we're still getting at least 20 knots. It's brightening up ahead though, it should end soon. Hey Tiki, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, pretty girl. We could do without these, huh? Oh, wow, 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 he's almost now in the dock, in the harbor. Yeah, he's on his way to the shipping dock. He's, he's in on the, in a, he's now on board. He is the radio, he won't call the buster. Yeah, he's dragged way back there now. He's out of control. San Andres Port Control, San Andres Port Control, sailing vessel, sophisticated lady, sophisticated lady, one six, over. Look, they, they lose the angle to the, the Mexican guys. The Mexican angle, the blue one. Yeah. I've been so... No, I know, they've been dragging into the fishing boat. The Panga's trying to help him, but oh, we need to get somebody. Where is the now? Where is? He's way back there, you can't even see him. He's behind everything. Uh, yes, uh, aquí sophisticated lady, Capitan, uh, is Están muchos botes que perdieron el ancla y uno está yendo directamente contra el puerto. Está en Rivier. Está en Rivier. Bueno, los. What else you need? I'm near. G6 near. What? I don't know. Who is that? ¿En qué velero estás? ¿En qué velero estás? What ship you have? 
Io sono una sofistica lady, il velero che perdeva l'ancla è il velero del signor René che fu rescattato la settimana passata. Perdeva l'ancla e si sta irendo contro il muelle. He's right back by the big yellow port marker now. He's like right beside it. Oh, look, someone gone to rescue. I think so they go to rescue the boat. Another tire in there, come on. Yeah, the storm will be over soon. Yeah. I think the damage, the worst is done. Yeah. The boat didn't hit shore at least, but now it's just a matter, yeah, he needs enough power to get that boat back out to anchor. The white boat has stopped swinging around wildly at least. Somebody up on the white boat now checking their anchor. I feel like the white boat might have moved back further also. They're really close to the wrecks now. Yeah. Blue boat stabilized. Uh, Rene's boat's still back there. It's stabilized, but the uh, panga left. It's like uh, it's locked. The anchor making a job. Not for now, but it's not really set well. No. Things have stabilized a little bit. Okay. Yeah, a little more sunshine ahead now. Okay, Rene for Sermio Mesa is in the boat, but the engine doesn't start. What does he think he's going to do? He's got no propeller shaft. What difference does it make if his engine starts? He needs to get dragged back up by the panga. Why do you let them go? Somebody else going out in a little boat. Oh, it's Ollie and Sandra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like the Beneteau's anchor didn't hold. They're pulling it up again. Didn't set properly. Nasty little squalls. But that's definitely the thing about sailing. There's no free ride and there's no perfect place. Every place has a downside and so does San Andres. It's just the squalls. And luckily, we don't have any major storms like we had in the past with the hurricanes and stuff like that, but they do have their squall season. You know, just like, what, Panama has rain season, well, almost all year round, but and lightning season all year round, so there's always things that you have to deal with, and you just have to be prepared to deal with them. But that's one of the reasons we stick with a very good anchor. It's oversized for the boat, it's heavy. You know, the Mantis 105 has held us through a lot, including today. So, we had, what, three boats dragging anchor today around us. Luckily, everybody's stabilized right now. Now it's just a matter of getting them the help they need to pull Rene's boat back up because he has no power. Uh, one of these pangas should be able to do something, so we'll see what happens here in the next little while. We're definitely not going to pull him with our little engine. Or... None of the dinghies here are going to be able to pull his boat up that far. So we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, at least these guys got some help, but they've got an engine, so you know they can do it on their own if they need to for sure. But back there, we got Rennie on his boat with no motor. He's been here for two weeks and never bothered to try and put his prop shaft back in. I guess there's a misalignment issue, but still that should be able to be corrected. But apparently his insurance company told him not to touch anything because they're coming to inspect the boat. So now, <laughs> now he has to deal with a, a safety issue because he can't propel himself out of the problems when the anchor drags. That's not good. I'm surprised the insurance company told him not to touch anything because he's left himself in danger now. <laughs> oh, 
But through it all, the party boats never fail. <laughs> Little squall won't stop them. Going out and having fun. Yeah, today's Maddie's day. The day she's been waiting for for three long years or more, maybe. Yes. Big surprise arriving today. Maddie's excited. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. Complimenti! Complimenti, bravi, siete stati bravi, ok, eh? Grazie. Grande sorpresa. Ciao papà! Oh, devo dare papà! E questo Tiki! Tiki? Sì, Tiki! Ciao Tiki! Food from Italy. It weighs a lot. I suspect there's a lot of wine and cheese in the bag. Si, si. <laughs> Vino fromage. Fromage, vino. Si. Licorice, zafferano. Uh oh. Licorice and saffron? Yeah. Si. And wine and cheese. He lost all two. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. E la nani. Nani. E la nani di Riccardo. Sì, Riccardo, ci sono arrivati i nonni. With this luggage is only for us, Riccardo. It's only for mom, dad and Riccardo. He only gets the recycled version. Eh? Mommy has to eat it first. Yeah, sure. Ah! Uh, <laughs> salame! Tre tipi di salame ci oh, sono. Three kind of cheese salame. Allora, qua. Cheese. Uh -huh. Wow, wow, papà. Cosa c'è? Oh, 
It's a Christmas time. Ma stavo dicendo. No, ma te. And eh. Ilaria and Cinzia. Anche questa. And these two. Sempre. Con Lady Riccardo. Is, is a elephant. Mm -hmm. Elephant with the plague. Questo qui è lo strolghino. Oh, wow. I think so. I wait to start my diet. Fromage. We knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Marmolade. Ah, ah se vuole mangiare con i formaggi. Marmelade. Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Spaghetti. No. Maddalena. Very little. Yeah. Eight years old, nine years old. And more than one. Again, I'm a little bit of 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 a And welcome to San Andres and Sophisticated Lady, Familia from Italia. Familia Lesio. Ching ching. Ching ching. I want to let my soul shine. want to let my soul shine. Burn it like a wild. <laughs> yeah, this is not good news. Rene's boat does not hold well. And look, yeah, he's got a very small plow anchor on the front. Which obviously doesn't do a good job because it didn't hold him even for 10 minutes the first night he got here. But now they're taking him way up in front of us. That's not good news. As long as they stay on that side, but yeah, <laughs> if the wind reverses, do they realize that they're right on the reef edge? You can see the color change in the water from here. If the wind reverses, he's going to be on the reef just like Captain Ron's boat was last year. That's exactly where he went ashore in the hurricane. Yep, this is like the blind leading the blind, my friends. Not good news.
Well, at this point, all we can do is cross our fingers and pray. <laughs> he doesn't have anybody to help him back down on the anchor either. He needs power to do that. Well, not much we can do from here, but observe. Let the insurance company deal with it later. That's right. <laughs> we can also make comments. Yeah, I think that's about all that's left. Yeah, even when I move, it stays steady. It's an incredible camera. There's no other camera on the market you can do that kind of shot with this price range. I mean, just look how far that pulls back. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. 